To throw a spanner in the works, what the hell mm -hmm. does that mean? Hold your horses. Wow, you're good. I never heard any of those. <laughs> I told you I was gonna get you. Donc j'attends Kim, qui clairement est en train de prendre sa douche et de prendre son temps. Mmm, elles sont trop bonnes. Okay. Alors on se retrouve aujourd'hui pour une vidéo où on fait du coup l'inverse parce que la dernière fois on a fait la vidéo les expressions françaises euh, que c'est moi qui lui faisais deviner, j'explique très mal le truc mais en gros je lui faisais deviner des expressions euh, françaises euh, puisque du coup il est anglophone et il essayait de savoir ce que ça voulait dire et là on va faire l'inverse, il va me donner des expressions anglophones et je vais essayer de deviner ce que ça veut dire donc j'en connais déjà pas mal donc j'espère que tu m'as trouvé des trucs bien compliqués et euh, puis on verra, on verra ce que ça donne Let's go Time for vengeance Alors on va commencer avec uh, cool as a cucumber <laughs> Cool as a cucumber It means that you're nice mm, Not necessarily It means that you're chilled That you, you know, like You know, like this kind of thing Well, yeah, chilled, but not really not Does it mean that you're cold? No, no, it has nothing to do with whether or not you're cold Yeah, make it sense. She was as cool as a cucumber during her job interview. I would go in. Cool as a cucumber, like, you know, like... Like, relaxed. Relaxed, She calm. Calm. Calm and collective. Okay, second one. Mm -hmm. uh, hold your horses. Um, don't give everything straight away. <laughs> Say then. Hold your horses. Or like, don't get angry. Okay, uh, she still has to get ready, so hold your horses, you can't leave yet. Ah, oh, you gotta wait. Mm -hmm. You gotta wait for something. Yeah, exactly. Hold your horses? Wow, you're good. <laughs> I never heard any of those. Oh my god. I told you I was gonna get you. <laughs> to kick the bucket. To kick the bucket. Mm -hmm. Um, like, you, like you spend so much money. Mm, no, you're so far gone. <laughs> You want it in a sentence? Please, I, I do. <laughs> okay, some people would like to travel the world before they kick the bucket. Before they die? Mm-hmm. <laughs> to kick the bucket. <laughs> to die? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, it is. To kick the bucket. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm just so happy because I'm learning a lot of English, exp um, English expressions and I just love to learn because I just love languages and I love to learn. Yeah, more she more thought more. she knew it all. No, come on. Madame, je sais tout. Mrs. know it all. It's all Greek to me. Ah, well, this one is obvious. Oh, God. I heard, I knew this one <laughs> because we have the same in, in French, but we use Chinese. Uh, It's all uh, Chinese to me. Uh, means that you don't understand. I think it comes from the languages in which you have signs for letters, right? Like Greek, Greek signs. Yeah, yeah. Or like Chinese yeah, signs. Yeah, Chinese, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically that you just don't understand because it's not at all related <laughs> from far. Hmm? It's not necessarily related to languages. But then... It can be like, a, you know, you can... I don't know, you can be uh, working somewhere and I don't know, maybe your boss tells you to go mow the lawn. You know, you're like, okay, this is... It's, it's all Greek to me. It's like you don't know <laughs> I don't anything know, about it. I don't know it. how to do it, you know. Ah. I, don't, I don't know anything about it. Double interesting. Thick as thieves. Thick? Thick as thieves. Thick as thieves. Mm -hmm. Epic comme un voleur. <laughs> it just means that it's thick. No, it does not. Or it so means that far, you're. Um, <laughs> no, no, it means that you're bold as a thief. No. You want it as a sentence? Yeah, please, I do. My girlfriend and I are as thick as thieves. Or like you're in a really committed relationship, something really strong with a strong connection. Mm, yeah, yeah. Or you're, like you're, you're very close. She's your accomplice. And everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, you're very close. You know, you do everything together. So. Ah, your expressions are fun. I love them. I'm learning so much. Pot calling the kettle black. Already, there are two words that I don't even understand. Make a sentence. Just make a sentence straight away. When you see my face doing like. You think I'm greedy? Remember that apple pie? Talk about the pot calling the kettle black. No? Yeah. I don't feel like you're proud of your sentence. <laughs> so I'm not very confident. It's, no, of course it is. Uh, it's the best, it's one of the best ways you can use it in a sentence, you know? Ah, it's like, no. To criticize someone for doing something when they're, they're doing it as well. Okay. Okay, yeah, hmm? I get it. All mouth and no trousers. Mm. <laughs> I think we have something equivalent to this. Mm -hmm. It means that if you 
you talk, you talk, you talk, but you don't do anything. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what, is it, what is it in French? Um... Tu chats, tu chats, mais t'as pas de couilles. <laughs> C'est pas ça. Oui. <laughs> Avoir que de la gueule. And chest and... Oh, I'm learning so much. I love it. Okay, mm -hmm. continue. This one's a killer. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> That's an expression? That's an I know. It's one of the wackiest, but I know you're, you're never gonna get it. Okay. Et c'est genre, va te faire foutre. No. You're stupid. No. You want to know something? Yeah, I do. Not. Add some strawberries to the banana, mix it in the microwave. No, in the microwave? No, no. <laughs> mix it in the blender and yeah. Bob's your uncle. And here, there you go. Yeah. Et voila. You already use et voila. In English, why don't you just use this then? <laughs> because Bob's your uncle is Bob's your uncle. To give someone stick. To give somebody shit. Yeah, to criticize, to mock. Neck of the woods. Neck of the woods. Mm. Is it pertaining to trees? Uh, no. It's the foundation of something. No, not even close. The neck of the woods. You remember that girl, Liana, who we met the other day? She's from my neck of the woods. <laughs> Your neighborhood? Yes. Oh, oh, that's pretty good. She's my neck of the woods. No, she. No. What? Ah, she's from my neck of the woods. Would you say that? No, no, no. I've never used this before. Like this. <laughs> but you've heard it. I've heard it a lot of times, but I've never used this. Uh, this is so funny. To chew the fat. To chew the fat. Yeah. To like not say everything that you that you know that that you. No. Me and Gerard met up for some drinks and we chewed the fat while we were at it. Ah, we, catch up, we caught up! Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a long conversation, we spoke about yeah. the last one. Yeah. Where does these expressions come from anyways? <laughs> to chew the fat, mâcher la graisse. <laughs> and I thought that French expressions were crazy. <laughs> Blue in the face. Well, that's easy. Isn't it like logical? And what's your logical answer? To blow in the face? No. <laughs> like something exploded on your face. Something like came up, like all of a sudden. Blue be, like the color? To be blue in the face, yeah. Ah, blue like the color. Ah, blue like. Ah, I, I didn't get that. You didn't know. I thought understand. it was blow, blue, blown. Ah, I'm okay, here with my irregular verbs. <laughs> ah, then you to got. To be blue in the face. Ah, then you're drunk. No. Parce qu'en français, quand t'es bleu... I knew you were gonna bleu, say that. Okay. Ouais, ouais, parce qu'en français, quand t'es bleu, t'es es boué, t'es... Ouais. Bedrunken. Bedrunken. Uh, Bebadou. You got bruised. You got hit. You can beg until you're blue in the face. But you're not gonna have ice cream for dinner. Until you cry. Until you're exhausted from like, you know, futile effort. Mm. You've been trying, you've been trying, you've been trying. Until you're blue in the face. Yeah. Stop looking. I'm not looking. To go pear-shaped. To go get fit. No. <laughs> to laugh. To go pear <laughs> shape like a pear. Does it have anything to do with the shape of the pear? Mm mm. Not at all. Is it pertaining to fruit? No. Is it pertaining to a body shape? No. What kind? Okay, give me a sentence. Good thing you left when you did. It's a good thing, cause Jonathan broke the sink. It went all pear shaped. You make such long sentences. <laughs> you're so cute. You're inventing a character. <laughs> you're you're making like a you're creating a whole context. I feel like I'm the I'm in the room, you know. It went crazy. Yeah, yeah. It went wrong. C'est comme si on disait c'est parti dans la forme d'une couille. <laughs> ça voudrait rien dire. <laughs> Mais même partir en couille en fait au final, ça veut rien dire. Wipe the floor with someone. Uh, to uh, not care about them. No. You're so proud of you. Yeah, I'm so happy. To pee on them. No, not even <laughs> close. Or maybe you can. Just ask make me. a sentence! Can't you see I'm struggling? Ah, you should have seen Sen Goku on Dragon Ball Z. He wiped the floor with Frieza. They fought. Yeah, they fought. Of course they fought. They got hurt? Mm, no. Are you gonna give up? <laughs> no, I'm never giving up. Yeah, okay, I don't know why I yeah, give up. Uh, Je donne ma langue au chat. Anyway, it means you beat that person very easily. You won a battle. Pretty much you kick their easy. asses. I'm gonna wipe the floor with your ass! Wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. Oh, we got the same one in French! Oh. Je la toucherai pas avec un bâton. It can't mean that you don't want to get close to someone because whatever reason, I don't know, they yeah. stink or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it also means that you would never be attracted to that person. Yeah, that person is unappealing, you know, yeah. it's disgusting. A barge pole? Une perche? Uh, under the weather. 
I don't this one. It means that you are not feeling so well. You're either a little depressed or sick. Mm. Out of the blue. I know this one. Out of the blue is like randomly, like suddenly. Oh my god. And out of the blue, she tells me that she fucked my husband. That would be out of the blue. Dead as a doornail. A doornail. Just dead. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, to have your head in the clouds. I think you can use it two ways, right? Mm -hmm. Like to like dream too much about things that are really unlikely unlikely to happen mm -hmm. Or being that person who's easily distracted, you know, like you're like, oh, okay, you like, you know, you don't you mm -hmm. lose focus easily No, in English, there's only the first one when pigs fly <laughs> We have the same Quand les cochons vont des ailes Basically, it will never happen yeah. To throw a spanner in the works. Well, I guess that would be way easier <laughs> if I knew what a spanner was. <laughs> a wrench, you know what a wrench is? It's an the object wrench, used. The, yeah, a wrench. The thing from the game, yeah? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's the same thing? It's the same thing. The works. Mm -hmm. Sweet, sweet vengeance. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> to throw a spanner in the works, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> it means that you... We're gonna make another like revenge of the revenge in French and you're gonna see, I'm gonna get you all like old expressions that nobody is even using anymore and you're gonna, you know, throw a spanner in the wrench or in the works. <laughs> well, no, no. I think it means to give up. No. I threw a spanner in the works when I told my girlfriend to do pistol squats instead of regular squats. What kind of a sentence is this? It's not helping. Yes, it is. I told you to do pistol squats instead of regular squats. Pistol squats are way more difficult than regular squats, so... It's something that you shouldn't have done? Well, yeah, but no. You have to give me the definition of the expression. But I don't know. <laughs> Make I another sentence! Made, I threw a spanner in the works when I gave Nyanka, my girlfriend, the best girlfriend ever. Mm. <laughs> Don't seem convinced. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. okay, I threw a spanner in the works when I told Nyanka to, to do bench presses <laughs> instead of push ups. Okay, okay, so it's all relating to exercise, so what? You made the exact same sentence. Here. I know, but what do you want from me? <laughs> that you would make a sentence. It means to make something more difficult, okay? End of story. Well, okay. Could it have been more obvious than the sentence? Wasn't my sentence sufficient? It wasn't. <laughs> Just say in the comments that it wasn't. <laughs> ah, to add difficulty to yes. whatever. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> well, of course, when I know the signification, now it's easier. Uh huh. Now it is. Now you understand the sentence. I'm. I, you know, I gave you pistol squats instead of regular squats because Already pistol squats are Already, I didn't even know like... what pistol squats were. Well, you know, we've been working out for a few days since we've been confined here for how long? <laughs> so you should know by now. Okay. Well, you can't finish on a failure. Give me another one. What's it like in here? No. Mm -hmm. Wait, well, that was the hardest one. Bon voilà, c'était tout pour euh, les expressions anglaises que j'ai dû deviner. Je sais même pas si je m'en suis bien sortie. Euh, le résultat, de toute manière, ouais, vous l'avez vu s'afficher à l'écran. Elle a eu quoi 3 sauf, sauf 30, du coup... Euh... En tout cas, je les ai pas eu du premier coup. Franchement, c'était compliqué, je m'attendais pas à ça. Je pensais que tu allais prendre des trucs que je connaissais euh, déjà. Donc, good job. Mm -hmm. No. The hell, no more handshakes, you forgot? Donc voilà, j'espère que vous avez passé un bon moment en notre compagnie. En tout cas, moi j'ai appris plein d'expressions et du coup je suis trop contente. Euh, j'espère qu'on fera un volume 2 pour en apprendre encore plus. Bye! Bye. <rire>